How to identify false black widow spiders? This spider does not have the red hourglass marking and is a glossy chocolate brown colored spider. It shares the same rounded abdomen body form and web making traits as the true black widow spiders. However, this spider is slightly smaller than a mature western black widow spider. The bite of a false widow spider will not cause your flesh to rot. The venom of false widow spiders is a neurotoxin affecting the nervous system. Other spiders such as the brown recluse have necrotic venom that does cause flesh around the bite to decay. Any such condition associated with false widow bites would either be mistaken identity or a secondary bacterial infection. False widow bites will not kill you. False black widows produce symptoms that are similar to but much less severe than those of a true black widow bite. There are documented cases of steatoda, bites leading to blistering at the site of the bite, and a general malaise lasting for several days. Additionally, symptoms can include moderate to severe pain that increases for the first hour, did not include diaphoresis, and occasionally, mild to moderate nausea, headache, and lethargy, the duration of all symptoms and effects ranged from 1 to 60 hours. There is more than one type of false widow spider, in fact there are around four species in the UK that are referred to as false widow spiders. All of these belong to the Steatoda family and the most common is Steatoda nobilis, the noble false widow, as above. The female spider is considerably bigger than the male. She can have a body length of up to 15 millimeters and a leg span of nearly 35 millimeters. The female spider also lives longer than the male, up to three years compared to one year for the male. The spiders seem to be spreading both naturally and with help from humans. Firstly, the spiders use ballooning, in which young spidlings send out a thread of silk, which allows them to be picked up by the wind and dispersed. The spiders also appear to have hitched rides, maybe on garden furniture or pallets, as sightings have occurred along the M1 and M6 motorway.